I have a hard time opening the hood of the car. I wasn't sure which one to get, so I got them both in yellow, because that's my favorite color. Oh wow, Jeremy, look at that aim. It's a lot of practice from waking up in the morning. Was taught how to do this when I was six years old by my dad. Thanks, dad. Hi, I'm Trista. I've been drawn to the natural world for as long as I can remember, and staying true to my Sagittarius nature, I've been traveling overseas or adventuring in one of my camper cars whenever possible for the last five years. You could say I'm on a mission to live a simple, happy life in the great outdoors. Oh, and this is Thanos, and Gaia, and Evie, my three cats, and this is Jeremy, my partner in everything. I'm sure you'll see them around. Hit subscribe and come along for the journey. Hello, good morning people. I am sitting in my Dodge, in the Dodge, because we have been having problems with it recently. As you might have seen on my last video when I was in St. Adele and kind of having a mini little breakdown. First problem is that the engine light was on, so we plugged in our OBD reader and it was the thermostat cooling system, something like that. I'll post the code somewhere on the screen. And we were kind of panicking because we thought there might have been an incident with putting diesel in the car and that that might have caused a few problems that we had prior and maybe this one as well. But I think that now we are pretty sure there was never any diesel in the car, which is a great thing. I'm really happy about that. And the second thing is a very basic thing. It just says that we need um, an oil change. So there's missing oil. This morning I had the very bright idea to look under the hood of the car and see what was happening there. I looked in the uh, coolant reserve tank thing and realized that it was under minimum. And I was like, that's the problem. That's what it must be. So my plan right now is to check the oil in the, in the thing just to confirm that it is low. I was taught how to do this when I was six years old by my dad. Thanks dad. The big question is, I think, why is there no more oil and why is there no coolant left? So we're going to be using the Dodge later to go pick up some furniture and during that time I'm going to see if it's leaking and if so where it's leaking from. I also think that there is a noise that we're hearing in the Dodge Jeremy told me about so I'm going to check that out and we also need to go see an actual mechanic in a garage because our throttle light came on a couple of times. Let's get started. The funny thing about me and cars is that I'm not afraid to try and fix the, my own car or a car. I have changed my own brakes in the past and I find the whole car thing kind of interesting, but I have a hard time opening the hood of the car. So enjoy as I struggle with this for quite a while. My biggest fear is actually getting this sweater dirty. So this right here, I think, is the coolant reserve thing. And you can kind of see there that it says minimum. And the amount of coolant, if you open this, is ex very, very, very low. It is so nice out today. The sun is actually shining and it's in the positives and I feel so good. My spirit is just like shining right now. I literally feel like my sweater. That's how good I feel. We're going to a Canadian Tire where I can pretend I know more than I do about cars. We managed to do that with only one call to my dad for information. I wasn't, I wasn't sure which one to get so I got them both in yellow, because that's my favorite color. I'm joking, that's not why I chose them. Um, but there were a lot of different brands and I was on the phone with my dad and I was like, does it matter which brand I take? And he was like, no, it doesn't matter. He was like, that's just marketing. Um, just get whatever one you want. Besides the fact that it had to be 5W30, I think, and I hope. I'm gonna check and make sure when I get home, when I see the Dodge, um, but that's what it said online. So besides that, he was like, pick whichever one you want. 
and it just so happened that the one I picked was yellow and that this was also yellow and that that's my favorite color and it's sunny-ish well it was sunny before it was all meant to be now we're going to drive home by the way my mask fell on the floor in the dirty water and it's disgusting and I have to wear it like that can't wait till there's no more masks I took a little lunch break this was supposed to be lettuce wraps but I didn't have enough lettuce so it turned into kind of like a salad with tempeh lettuce sprouts red onions and peanut Thai sauce and this is a strawberry granola bar thing that I made and that is going to be my lunch I had to call in reinforcements that guy because I'm in a tiny bit of a food coma and it's usually my nap time at this time funny funny thing is that I get scared of pouring things into this this smells sweet <laughs> Oh wow, Jeremy, look at that aim. It's a lot of practice from waking up in the morning. Wow, that's beautiful. You're looking good in this lighting. Thanks. Looks like I got the right oil, y'all. There's just something about being a woman and doing working on a car that brings you such a feeling of empowerment and strength and blindness from the sun. Can you pour this straight in there? Oh my god, he almost slipped. Look at this, there's, a, there's an ocean right here. I know. So here is where the fish grow in the algae. Okay, this is what scares me because I feel like he's going to splash everything in the car. Can we get that percent? Oh my god. Oh, this is an awkward one. First. Oh, there's a little bit too much. We're heading for a second trip to Canadian Tire because we found a syringe that we're hoping will remove the excess amount of oil that we put into the car. Our friend said it won't work, but we will see. I wonder if he says it won't work because there's like a little, maybe there's like a, a blocker for the oil. Oh. So you think emptying it until here is going to be enough? Okay, so the solution we found is this syringe with this tiny tubing. And we're planning to put that through where the dipstick goes and just pull out some of the oil. And cost us another $28. Aha! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. I'm scared this is going to pop off. What do I do? So I'm debating in terms of the length. Maybe it's the length. After calling my brother a certified mechanic, he assured us that it was no big deal if we had overfilled the oil by just a little bit. So we drove around that night for a little while and then we brought it to our mechanic who checked if everything that we did was fine and also replaced one of the bearings. Good morning, everyone. It is about a week since the last clip and if you can tell from my voice, I am not in tip-top condition right now. I think um, I've been getting the same symptoms every month, right before my time of the month, where I get like a drier throat, and it really sucks. I've been getting it for the last like five months, so I don't know what's up with that, but I'm not feeling 100%. But I wanted to give you guys a little update on what happened with the car. And before I get into that, I just want to point out that all this stuff in the background is things that I need to sort through and either keep or get rid of. That's what's going on with this room right now. So after last weekend, I, when I put in the coolant and the oil, we brought it to the mechanic just for like a quick uh, look into like what was going on. Um, we're going to see if the oil or the coolant leaks. Or not within the next like couple of weeks um, as far as we can tell there's no leak I think there's an open thermostat well not I think that's what the mechanic thinks and that's what's causing the um, the coolant to go down so quickly but we're gonna fix that only uh, probably after summer since there's no chance of overheating since it's open other than that we there was a little sound that we were hearing in the back of the car and ended up being a bearing so we had to get 
that fixed and that cost us half a grand so pretty expensive but i mean we need the 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 dodge and tip top shape so um we did that yesterday and today we just have to get the car ready for a rental and that's about it that's about my update on fixing the dodge so i think that i did a pretty good job with the coolant and the oil and i'm pretty proud of myself that's it i'm gonna take you guys along i guess quickly as i tidy up the car but other than that the video has now come to an end thank you guys so much as usual for watching uh for being here for supporting i appreciate it so much don't forget to hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already and make sure to tune back in on sunday for another video i'm going to be comparing the dodge versus the prius for car camping i'll see you then bye guys Disinfectant wipes. Boom. We're ready for action.